Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the potential reasons why your dog's leg may be shaking. You may have noticed your dog's leg shaking in the past and wondered what's going on. In this video, I will walk you through some of the things to look for to help you determine if this is from a mechanical injury or not. Before we dive in, Bo here wants to ask a quick favor and that is to like and subscribe the channel as being a model dog is very difficult work. A dog's leg can shake for a variety of reasons and it's not always a cause for concerns. Sometimes it's just a normal part of their behavior. However, when the shaking becomes excessive or accompanied by other symptoms, it's essential to get to the root of the problem or seek out help if you cannot. As mentioned earlier, we'll be focusing on mechanical problems and what you can look for at home. But since leg shaking can be caused by many different reasons, Let's talk about some of those first. The most common reasons are the most benign, and that is if your dog is scared or cold. When a dog is exposed to a new environment, this may trigger anxiety and stress. Certain stressors may be obvious to us, but others like odors, we may not pick up on and could cause the dog to enter a state of distress. The other obvious reason is being cold. The body will shiver, repetitively contracting the skeletal muscle to increase the heat production in their body. This is typically more generalized or throughout the body and resolved when moving to warmer conditions. On the other side of the coin, we have to address the many neurological and systemic conditions that can cause shaking in your dog's leg. Often these will have other symptoms involved or changes in behavior that may be noticeable as well. In the scenarios where you feel like something is not adding up, it's best to make an appointment with your veterinarian and have a thorough neurological assessment completed and blood work done if they deem it necessary. Lastly, we can determine if the leg is shaking from more mechanical type injuries. This can include things like arthritis, joint injuries, and even muscle injuries. Often when a dog has an injury, they tend to hide it very well. This is because the dog has four limbs and they can easily shift their weight from the injured area to one of the other three limbs. So it may be difficult to pick up with an untrained eye. However, if you are noticing leg shaking, even if it is very subtle, here are a few things that you can look for on your dog. The first thing is to look for muscle atrophy or muscle wasting. Disuse atrophy is the most common cause, and this is typically because they're not weight bearing on that limb. As a result, the disuse of that limb will start causing wasting in the muscles. The best way you can look for this is looking side to side at each limb. So if we take the back legs, for example, we can look at the back of the legs and see if there's any asymmetry side to side. You may notice what's called scalloping in the muscles, um, where there's less thickness and less density in the muscles, uh, or you might notice a little bit of twitching while you're holding on to it. The second item are changes to the gait pattern. So shaking may happen at rest. However, when you're looking for changes in their gait, this is while they're moving. So little subtle signs to look for are hopping and skipping. They may be subtle or sometimes they may be pretty obvious. But if they are more subtle, an area where to look for it is when they're transitioning from either a trot into a canter or even a walk into a trot. They may have a skip in their stride and this may alert you to what limb is causing the issue. Or they may have trouble when they're turning a corner. Uh, and you may notice that you're picking up on this skipping in one of their limbs. So the third way you can identify if it may be a more of a mechanical injury causing the shaking is changes to their normal daily habits. So if it's front end shaking, you may notice that they're also hesitant to jump off of furniture or coming down the stairs. This is because it's putting more pressure in their front end and in their neck. Uh, so if there is an issue going on up there, typically they'll be hesitant because it might cause a little bit of discomfort. Well, if it's a back leg that's shaking, jumping up into a vehicle or up onto furniture or running up the stairs all may cause hesitation. So they may stare at you at the bottom of the stairs or at the vehicle, whatever it may be, and look for your assistance. But this is because it's probably causing a little bit of discomfort as well. And the last thing that you can do to help determine if it is from a mechanical injury or not is palpate that limb for tenderness. So if it is the front limb, for example, you wanna palpate starting at the shoulder and all the associated joints with it. So ideally for this, instead of just checking um, the arm uh, bones here and into the shoulder, we'd go all the way through the shoulder blade up to where it attaches to the spine and then we'd work our way down. So you're really not gonna be forcing a lot of pressure in there, but you do want to touch every tissue. So the bony tissue, the tendinous tissue, the muscular tissue, and then stress the joints a little bit too. And if the dog pulls away, tries to grab at you with their mouth or yelps, then this is going to help to determine whether or not this is coming from a mechanical issue or not. So I hope this helps you determine whether or not your dog's leg shaking may be coming from something mechanical. If you're in doubt, it's always best to err on the side of caution and book a visit with your veterinarian to get the appropriate testing done. 